Hi fam, today we are making a simple cake in a blender with no oven. So enjoy this cake recipe with me. This is how it looked after preparation. The ingredients are here. I've dropped it in the description section so you can check it out. This is Benuous Cooking Stories. If this is your first time of watching me, you are welcome. Kindly subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification bell and be part of the family. So this is our blender. Pour in my eggs, two eggs. Followed by sugar. Then vegetable oil. That's how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and blend until it's very mixed well. Yeah. Blend it for 15 to 20 minutes depending on the kind of blender you are using. But make sure it's well mixed. Yeah. You want to make sure that the sugar is well dissolved in it. At this point, I have my saucepan on fire. I'm going to preheat it. Yeah, I'll heat the saucepan before the preparation. So I'm using three stones to elevate the pan so that when I put the tin on it, the heat will not be directly at the bottom of the baking pan so you see me adding some to sand frying sand yeah i want it to generate extra heat in the pan so that our baking process will not prolong this is our flour baking powder baking soda some salt nutmeg so we go ahead and seed them Guys, don't forget I have another video of how to make a cake in a saucepan with a different method altogether so you can check it out. Now we go ahead and grease our baking tin with vegetable oil. You can also use margarine for this process. Then I use my I fed some small amount of flour for this process so that the cake will not stick in the pan after preparation. At this point, I transfer my blended ingredients in the a fine bowl. That's the the two eggs sugar and vegetable oil blended together and then i add in my milk yes i used ideal milk you can use any milk of your choice you can even use milk powder if you don't have milk so i'll go ahead and put in small quantity of my flavor that's pineapple flavor that's what i prefer using for my cake At this point, I can go ahead and be adding my flour gradually. Yeah. Don't forget, this is Benue's Cooking Stories. I'm your girl, Benue. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, kindly do so. After, put on the notification bell 
so that you can be notified anytime I post new videos. Don't forget to also check out my old videos for interesting recipes. So, at this point, this is the consistency that we are looking for. Let me show you. I can now go ahead and transfer it into the baking pan. Make sure your cake is not full to the top of the pan. Now our pan has been on fire for a while so it's heated up already but on low heat so i put on the mixture in the saucepan but remember the stones are on it it has elevated the pan a little you are going to bake it for an hour on a low heat but make sure your pan is tightly closed then after a while after an hour i checked you see how nice our cake has turned into as turning golden brown, put in the toothpick. Once it doesn't stick on the pan, it means your cake is done. So at this point, you take it from the fire, allow it to cool down. I was in a haste to enjoy mine. That's why I turn it over right from the fire. So this is how it looks. There's the bottom. Please don't forget to clean your cake at this point. I was in a hurry to enjoy, so I just cut it and I was good to go. Yeah, clean it with a nice napkin. So guys, if you have watched this video to this point, let's cut the cake together. You have done really well. Kindly subscribe to the channel once again. I love what you've been doing for your girl. Thank you very much. Subscribe like the video comment and share bye bye